Hi, kids golden moments, hot hands and heels. And today I'm saying hot hands and maize or corn. Yay! We had a wonderful time last week and we learned the need to so and the need to also harvest because we believe in one thing seed time and harvest will never cease there's time to sow and there's time to reap hence welcome to this wonderful day and the kids gold moment is proudly sponsored by golden intellectual school a very great school that teaches basically wonderful things especially the enhancement of talents and gifts and that's why we want to promote the need for children to learn about seed time and harvest time and also to learn that farming is a great profession it's not all about lawyers and doctors and all those jobs but farmers are so important in the economy most of the shoes we wear the food we eat yeah shoes a surprise because the hide and the skin of animals are from farming and they are used to do shoes for us the leather and everything and the food we eat every food is from the farm so you see farmers are very important and on this note we want to salute all farmers especially the female farmers yes i want to be a little bit partial but men don't mind because the women are doing greatly and so well so i want to say that kudos all female farmers and we salute you this day it's seed time is over harvest time is over but this is the fruit of our labor you can see we are still in the golden farm let's go to i am a ceo section where we meet uncle enoch and nora again they are still on the farm after one week <laughs> well they just continue from last week and our maze is almost ready i am a ceo section uncle enoch thank you so much for last week and I remember last week we had some quadruplets. Yes. A maze that can be four. There are some that can be two. More than two. Eh, wow. So, it's harvest time. And I realized one thing. We delayed in harvesting some of the maize. So they dried up on it. And some two are still growing. Why didn't they grow at the same time? Okay. Um. The reason being is that um, those that grew late or those that just came is based on conditions. Don't forget um, you learn germination. Germination talks about when um, a, a fruit or a plant erects, it needs some necessary conditions before it becomes working or fruitful. Yeah. Sunlight, you need water, water, then you need some organic manure to master it so that it becomes okay for growth. You realize um, we took this and it looks fresh, or sometimes the sunshine over it takes it so much that it becomes dry early, and some are just close downwards like this. So this one we see the sunshine more than this. So it gets dry early. But this, one thing we have to notice here is that when it is fresh like this, that is this season. It has just come. But when one comes and it gets dry, it is really matured and that is this time. So it's a matter of time. That is how life is. Yes, we human beings, some people came before us. So we can't just relate it directly to them. plants also do so. That's why we have plants that can even survive in Mahatan City with our rain. Some can die easily with our rain too. So let's consider plants particularly here. Yeah. So as one goes, one comes. Ah, I like that. As one goes, one comes. And even children, as Uncle Enoch said, everybody has their season. So don't compare yourselves to your friends. If your friend is taller than you, yeah, it's okay. Look at this. One is taller, one is shorter, you see. But they are all from the same yellow corn we planted. Some of the trees are taller, like me. Some are shorter, like Nora. <laughs> Some are fatter, some are slimmer. So every child is different. Every child is unique, okay? So when, I mean, your friends laugh at you that you are too fat, you are too slim, don't mind them. You are a special child, you are unique. 
okay so there's always time for everything and i like it that you really mentioned that it depends on the conditions and one of the conditions for a child to be a great child and grow and become beautiful like this is reading so what do you say because i remember we planted only one grain one but now look at what we have so if every child learns one word a day what do you think will happen let me just say, when you even take a letter in the word, you learn everything. You used to be small when you didn't know even the alphabet in the word. But when we got to know um, A, we were so happy. Then later on, we got to A and B. Then later on, then and a, word, a letter also joined. Then it became then just that and that. We had more friends. We didn't know more friends then. Uh, there are small grammatical rules that makes a sentence. You know our English teacher will take us to, but I'm just brushing it through for us to know. Here, let's take it. In a moment when we have a point here, my own is well, well, well. Well, well, well. Tasting it. It's nice. Here. We took a gradual process. And as mommy said, how? How did it come become like this? Or took a majority like this on a stick. Yes, you see, we, we, we call ourselves great time to do everything. Yes. It's, it's more of like start a little, then you make it big. You know most of our businessmen who are in Ghana, who are just nothing. I'm not just saying nothing because they were not doing anything, but they didn't have much to start. But now look at them. So it's all about perseverance and determination. You see, even the one itself can boast that there's more plenty than the family. Just one corn, a stick of a corn, can guess that that is plenty than Yes, it's true. So when you start a small, you can read. So when you read a little, even a day, you improve yourself in a different style. That's wow. what I have to say. You are learning on the farm. Am I? Oh, am I a CEO? Yeah, I'm a farmer. I'm everything. I can be a carpenter. In fact, the truth is that when I was growing, I wanted to be a carpenter. You know that. So every job is important. Ah, every job is important. And I am a CEO section. We have learned that farming is a prestigious job. It is not for people who don't know what they are about. It's not for those who drop out of school. No. I must tell you that in Ghana and even outside, one of the richest, the wealthiest and the most successful people are farmers. So I want to propose to you that after all the schooling, you can still be a farmer. I am a journalist, but I'm still farming. You see, I have my own farm. Okay, and not just as we are into other things because we believe that being a CEO is a very good thing. You are able to satisfy yourself, develop your talent, and also create jobs for other people. So I am a CEO. Being a farmer is very, very honorable. Thank you so much, Ghana politicians, and thank you so much, President, our current president, His Excellency, for also pushing for cocoa for and food for everything so that Ghanaians' life will be better. Children, let's know that farming is good. Let's move on to another section where Uncle Sylvester will teach us other things. And Nola will come in with other exciting things. Just to tell you that it's very important to harvest. And if you plant and you don't harvest at the right time, you have failed. But when you plant good words, good character, good morals, by the time you grow up to be like a cob of the corn, you will be a star. Moral tip. Nora, what have you learned today? Today I've learned that seed time and harvest time shall never cease. Seed time and harvest. Uh -huh. There's no harvest time. And do you know why the Bible didn't say harvest time? Uncle Inman. There's a time to sow. You know that today you sowed a grain. That one, you know the time. But as such, when the harvest will come, you don't know. That is why the Bible said, seed time and harvest. It didn't say harvest time because, as you can see, we planted them all 
at the same time but some have fruited some haven't yet fruited some fruits are even dried up long time some are fresh and we are eating it so that means that there's time for everyone's harvest but there's the specific time for us to sow seeds okay so Nora seed time hey, you are seriously cute <laughs> seed time and harvest on the seeds okay now what um, applying to your life what have you learned about today's time in the in fact I never thought of it. <laughs> engaging myself into farming anywhere but you see having me here is a privilege and it's pushing me to do farming yeah. Farming is one of the wonderful <laughs> jobs. If you are a farmer, you are more like Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ was universal. So I want to be a farmer. Hey, I'm going to this. Farming too. <laughs> mm. huh? You see, when you become a farmer, you are so open to nature. So I want to learn what nature is. I want to know what is really good to nature. In fact, the green environment, that is what I want to learn. Though I've stayed, uh, in my entire life, I've been to um, a natural setting. Did you grow in the village? Um, or you grew in town? I grew a few years in the village. Then everything was in town. But your place, I think you have a lot of millet, isn't it? Yes. The millet looks like this. Yes. But how but come? It looks like kind of this. More like rice, but it's not rice. But it color looks like a wine color. Mm. Yes. And what about sorghum? Sorghum, same thing. Similar. Yes. But you said they all have almost the same. Almost the same structure. That is so, how. So it is. why is it that um, you can plant millet, sorghum, maize, and they look alike, but when the harvest comes, they show the true colors? Why is this so? They, see, that's why we say we have species. We have species of plants. They fall in the same category, but they produce different seeds. That's all. And it's different fruits too. Because yes, when you plant fruits. the seed, what you planted is what you get. Yes. So children, you see, when you plant more words, you get good words. And that you get good it. vocabulary. Sure. And like a Sylvester, it's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Nora, you are so serious. Well, we'll talk again. It's 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 more tip for you, won't it? Nora, what do you do say again? Seed time and harvest shall not cease. Okay, yes. kids, say after us. Seed time and harvest shall not cease. That means that when you sow more seeds, more words into your vocabulary now, when you grow up, you speak better English than I or Uncle Enoch or Nora. And you write better English, better rhymes and better citations. Remember, we are the best citation writers in the whole world. So contact Divinely Redemic. Yeah. yeah. Divinely Redemic and any citation you want for award ceremony, someone to appreciate somebody appreciate your pastor your mother your friend anyone just call on me they make they are so divine zero five four two zero four three five one nine and we'll write the best for you why do we write very good citations because we have sold good seeds of good words and we can write good english kids golden moments hearts hands, hands and maids <laughs> kids golden moments hearts hands and hills Thank you, kids. We thank Uncle Eno very much for educating us. I'm sure you have also learned something. Good. We are trying our best to see how best we can relate farming to learning. Good. I'm sure you have also learned something from here this evening. Now, we started this farm by, by sowing our seeds. We started by sowing. And here we are today harvesting or reaping what we sowed the other time. You see that? So, the opposite of sow is what is to reap. If you don't reap, you sow. You get it. If you don't reap, you sow. Now, after after harvesting what, what, what after harvesting our corn, what we do next is, what, is to either store them. Now this one, this farm, we have it just inside our, our, our house. So it's just a small farm. But the farmers who cultivate in acres, after harvesting their crops, what they do is that they store them. And then storing, they put them in either sacks, and then they seal it. You remember that time we looked at a seal and seal the sealing and sealing and the harmonics. Yes, these are after putting them, uh, they are putting their crops or whatever they have harvested into that they have sack. They were they seal it, and then they store them before uh, later on they send them to the market to be sold. 
So you see that case, anywhere you go, you can learn something. So I know that you cannot, you cannot go to the farm with your pen or your book, but you can still do a lot of learning, or you can still learn something, something in the farm. Do you get it? Yes. So please all, always ask Uncle Enoch. To, I told you, try as much as possible to do a lot of reading because very soon time will, will be busy for us. You get it. And reading is the only enjoyment which has not been polluted, please. Not been polluted. So please try as much as possible and do a lot of a lot of reading. Good. Hey, try as much as possible and do a lot of reading. Seal. Yes, you have S E A L I N G and then you have C E I L I N G. Oh, they sound similar but yeah, they mean different. And then the spellings too are different. So that is homo ho ho homo homo lips. Homo lips, okay. Okay. So we've learned a lot of things. I'm I'm I, I mean I'm really excited. As Uncle said, you learn anywhere. You can even learn on the bus. You can learn anywhere. And the more you learn, the more you earn. Mm. It's rhyming. You see, I like rhyming. So the more you learn, the more you earn. So keep learning by reading. Uncle Sylvester, do you know, even if you're a farmer, you can read about farming and do it better. Yes, yes, you can still read about farming and do it better. Mm. Yeah. But without, without reading, reading helps us to acquire a lot of knowledge. knowledge. Mm. You get it. But if so you're a farmer, the more you read, the more you get more techniques in your farm and it helps your crops to grow well. Which means that even if you're educated, you can still be a farmer. Yes, you can. And that is what farm. we want to debunk. And how can we, which other word can we use for debunk? To erase, to, uh, which other word? To, to erase. Uh, to make the children not, you know, we want to erase it from their memory that it is not, um, farming is not for illiterate. It's not for yeah, people but, who are hopeless, but it's for everyone. Yeah, yeah, for everyone. Yeah. Mm. It's not for, for, for only illiterate, but it's for everyone. Even mm. illiterate are even farmers. Yes. Mm. Mm. Government officials, mm. home officials. Yes. Most of them are being farmers. Yes. Most yes. of them are cocoa farmers and mm. the rest. Okay. So it helps a lot. Okay. So um, it doesn't mean that you can hold the cutlass, but if you are able to employ people to farm cocoa, cashew, maize, and maize can be used for so many things, including medicine, food, and everything. Yeah, thank so, you yes, yes, yes. So, being a farmer and being an educated farmer is better. Even being an educated, any profession of your choice is better. Thank you so much, Uncle Sylvester. You've always Welcome. been teaching us. God bless you. And may your children be blessed. Thank you. Man. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so, here we go again. We have learned so much in the Golden Farm. That farmers are wonderful people who help us a lot. And it helps with the development of the country. And even if you are a child, no matter how educated you are, you can still enter into farming when you grow up and become an adult. Because there's so much productivity and so much blessing in farming. And farming reveals the blessing of God because you plant one little grain and you get four. This is quadruplets, you know. Thank you so much for joining the Kids Golden Moments every time. And I always say it's the best children's program because we teach good morals. We teach you to love reading because if you're a reader, you'll definitely be a leader in everything you lay your hands to do. And I always say you are a golden child because every child has gold within. As you learn all the things we teach you on the Kids Golden Moments and apply it to your lives, you'll be a great person. And so we meet again, remember to say, a big thank you to your parents and remember to always know that there is seed time and harvest. We've lost our president, our ex-president, but we know there's so much gold ahead. Ghana will be blessed with much, much more. And we all mourn with our family of the bereaved ex-president and we believe that God is going to bless us further and further. Until we meet again, remember, there's gold in you as a child. Bring it out for the world to see. Kids' golden moment, heart, hands, and heal. Thank you. So on your mark, yes, then, go! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>